Hello Taurus, Simon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward. So with all that being said, Taurus, let's get started. Let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship. Well, the cards are ready to go, so let's get started. How does Taurus currently view okay this relationship it kind of looks like things are getting serious Taurus between you and whoever it is that you currently find yourself uh romantically involved with now even though I do see things getting serious here uh between you and this person I also see you getting very overwhelmed by it all okay now I do want to look at the seven of cups before I look at your person but let's see what we get tell me more about the seven of cups why is Taurus feeling so overwhelmed by this connection? Nothing wanted to come out at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Knight of Swords. Okay, it all makes sense now. There's an overall energy, Taurus, of things essentially moving very, very quickly here uh, between you and this person. And I do feel like it is definitely overwhelming you uh, quite a bit. Now, I don't feel like you're rushing things within this dynamic that you share with this person. There's a huge possibility that your person could very well be rushing things with you. That's definitely a possibility. Not saying that that's the case. You would obviously know if that's the case or not. But Regardless of this person's rushing things with you or not, Taurus, you still feel like things are moving very quickly here between the two of you. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're connecting with somebody who is rushing things with you. You just might feel like, whoa, things are moving a little bit quickly here between such and such and I and, you know, I'm kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it. You know, it could just be, you know, a simple case like that. But for some of you, yeah, you could very well be dealing with somebody who is trying to rush things here with you and it could have you feeling very, very overwhelmed. For some of you, you might even find yourself questioning you know, whether or not you're actually ready, you know, for things to get serious here between the two of you. Don't get me wrong. I do feel like this is somebody that you can totally see yourself being in a relationship with and having something serious with. Um, I do feel like this is definitely somebody that you can totally see yourself, you know, being in a relationship with and, you know, establishing and creating a life with. But I just kind of feel like due to how Quickly, things are moving here between the two of you. It just it it just kind of has you feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now to the point where you're starting to kind of find yourself question like, oh my gosh, am I honestly ready for this or not? But it's not stemming from a place of you questioning whether or not this is somebody that you can see yourself being in a relationship with. That's not the problem and I'm not getting that. Um, what I am getting primarily is that this is somebody that you can see yourself being in a relationship with. You're just currently questioning like, damn, am I honestly ready for all of this? And oh my God, things are moving so quickly here. And I just, I don't know, like, I don't know what to do. Like it has that type of feel to it. Okay, let's look at your human. Let's see how they're currently viewing this relationship with you. How does this person currently view this relationship? With Taurus. Okay, well, listen, listen, honey. I do feel like this person's very, very dead set on you and what they want here with you. You are somebody who really, really does make this person very, very happy. I also feel like this person's very happy and, and content with the relationship they currently have with you. Um, as far as this human is concerned, they're basically convinced that you're the one for them. Um, now, this person is harnessing Knight of Wands energy and Knight of Swords energy. Now, these two knights are basically like the fastest moving knights out of all of the knights compared to like the Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Cups. So, one can definitely say that this person could very well be moving extremely quickly within this dynamic that they basically share with you because we were picking up on an overall energy of you feeling really overwhelmed by this connection due to potentially how fast they're kind of taking things between the two of you so that could very well be the case um that this person is rushing things here with you and it kind of has you feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now um but if they're not rushing things here um with you i just kind of feel like this one over here um is pretty dead set on you and what they want here with you you could very well be dealing uh, with the sagittarius or this person might have sag uh within their chart but it's like this human over here has like tunnel vision you know what i mean when it comes down to you and what they want here with you and they're very determined to make that happen so you know i could definitely insinuate that um as well that this person just simply has tunnel vision when it comes on to you and what they want with you and they're very determined to make that happen it doesn't necessarily mean that they're rushing things here with you but like i said dude for some of you you could you could be dealing with somebody who is you know um rushing things here with you but it is stemming from a place of 
I know, I know this is the one for me. I just, I just know it, okay? Um, all right, let's see how this person's currently feeling. How does this person currently feel? Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Emperor out here. And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person is trying their hardest to not self-sabotage things here between the two of you. You know, this person is definitely looking at you and this relationship with you um, as something that they've definitely been wanting in their life for quite some time now. So they don't want to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing that could potentially cause them to self-sabotage things here um, between the two of you. So I do kind of see them being a little bit hard on themselves uh, when it comes down to them trying their hardest to not do anything to like screw this up uh, between the two of you. But outside of that... Outside of that, I mean, like I said, this human is, is is pretty dead set on you. And they're very, very serious, by the way, about you and what they want here uh, with you. So if this person tells you that they want to be with you, it's because they really do want to be with you. If this person tells you they can totally see themselves getting married to you one day, it's because they, they totally can't. You know what I mean? If this person tells you, yo, I think you're the one for me, it's because they genuinely think that you're the one um, for them. You are dealing with an emperor, which is a really, really good sign. So... You know, an emperor is somebody who can be very picky and who can be very selective of who they choose to invest their time and energy towards and who they choose to go off and build and establish a life with. So I do feel like the fact that they feel so strongly about you and creating and establishing a life with you um, is just basically insinuating that you are definitely somebody who does possess a lot that they're essentially looking for within a person and then some. You know, if you were someone who did not possess what it is that they were truly looking for within a person, this is that type of person that would not waste their time on you or anyone at that. Like, you would literally have to have everything that they're basically looking for within a person and then some to capture their attention, to get this person to honestly um, invest all that they essentially have to give uh, with in a romantic relationship with a person so just know that they're very very serious um, about you all right let's jump back over to you my friend how does Taurus currently feel night well all right <laughs> uh, I was like night and then I saw the double <laughs> okay um we have the two of cups we have the devil, and then we also have the uh, ten of cups um, out here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the queen of wands, and then we also have the empress. I want to talk about this, this mindset that you had uh, prior to actually meeting this person. So you kind of had this mindset of not really wanting to do, um, you know, anything with love because, you know, you know, people nowadays, they're just very non-committal. They don't know what the hell they want. You know, I, I just kind of feel like that's the type of mentality that you had prior to essentially meeting this person. And because you kind of had that mentality prior to meeting this person, we kind of see you um, allowing that mentality of yours to kind of affect um, you within this dynamic that you basically share with this person. Now, your person, like I said, is showing up as an emperor. You're showing up as an empress. So you guys are very compatible to one another. You know, this person brings just as much to the table as you do, vice versa. Uh, you guys are also very similar in your ways. I'm also kind of getting that as well. But just overall, very compatible. And you're definitely connecting with a soulmate, by the way. But that's just kind of what we see going on here. You know, this person, this connection, it does bring a lot of happiness and a lot of joy into your life. Again, this somebody that you see a great deal of potential with however um because of this mentality that you had prior to meeting this person it is kind of affecting you within this dynamic that you basically share with this person so let's just say for perfect example you know you kind of had this mentality that all men are dogs and all women are beeps and you know you will never ever again waste your time on another person like that um you know again because these people nowadays are not committal they don't know what the hell they want you know so we, we kind of see you walking into this relationship and you may not be consciously aware of this but we do kind of see you walk into this relationship and allowing this mentality that you had prior to meeting this person to affect you within this connection that you share with this person so 
you might find yourself thinking to yourself, well, I just think that this person's here to take advantage of me. I just think that this person's here to play a massive game on me. And I just don't want to get hurt and disappointed. I feel like this is you kind of projecting past experiences that you've had with other people onto this person, but also automatically assuming that they're going to turn around and do you just like everybody else did. Um, outside of that, things are looking good. Outside of that, things are looking good. If we get rid of this mentality that you had prior to meeting this person, this mentality that you're bringing along with you into this dynamic that you share with this person, we get rid of all of that. You seem pretty happy and content to me, okay? Now, let's see what actions this person plans on taking in your direction and are moving forward. What actions will this person take towards Taurus or moving forward? I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I like it. I like this person, by the way. I like this person for you. Especially because they come off to me as somebody who's very, very serious about you and somebody who actually means well. Um, and they're very determined to not fuck this up. That's another thing I'm getting. And that's another thing that I like about this person. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. And then we also have the uh, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is basically the minor to the Star card in Tarot, which this person did get the Star card um, on their behalf. You know, the Star just basically speaks of, you know, wishes coming true. Um, you know, the Nine of Cups... It basically represents the exact same thing as far as wishes coming true. Um, it could also represent somebody who is emotionally um, satisfied and content. And I do feel like when it comes down to their relationship with you, they're very satisfied and very content with you. They're very, very happy with you. Um, and like I said, you are somebody that they can definitely see themselves being in a relationship with long term. Because this person is basically aiming for a long term committed relationship to come out of this entire situation between the two of you. They don't want this connection to be shortly lived. Uh, they don't want to experience another failed marriage and or relationship. So they're very determined to get this one right, honey, is kind of what I'm getting. Now, with all of that being said, we have the tower out here, uh, which I'm not surprised or shocked by this. I mean, you do have the devil on your side and this person has the tower um, on their side. So that's kind of telling me that this person's going to be facing a lot of obstacles within this dynamic that they basically share with you due to this mentality that um, you essentially had prior to meeting them. And it's a mentality that you're... Um, taking with you within this dynamic that you share with this person, creating a lot of challenges and obstacles for this person. So you're going to have this mentality of, well, I just think that they're out to get me. I just think that they're here to just take advantage of me. I don't trust them. And I just think that they're like this. And I just think that they're like that. But you are basically projecting past experiences that you've had with other people, regardless if you're consciously aware of it or not, onto this person, this connection that you share with this person. So I do see this person constantly having to like, I guess prove you wrong is like the best way that I can describe what I'm seeing here. So um, they're going to find themselves constantly feeling the need that they have to prove you wrong. You know what I mean? Every time you turn around and you think they're doing something behind your back, they're going to turn around and prove you wrong time and time and time and time again. Um, another thing that I want to kind of throw out there is that you're dealing with an emperor. Okay. So an emperor is, you know, somebody who is not going to give up. Uh, that easily, you know, because when an emperor has their mind dead set on something, they're very determined, you know what I mean, to accomplish and achieve whatever it is that they have their mind dead set on. So with that being said, they have their mind dead set on you. And again, it's like that damn tunnel vision with this one over here, Taurus. So because they have their, their you know, their mind dead set on you and what they basically want with you, Taurus, uh, they're going to make it happen. So you can throw as many obstacles in this person's way as you want to. You can sit here and push them away if you want to. You can sit here and do all of that. Is that going to influence this person to just turn around and just throw their hands up and give up on you and, and what they want with you? Uh, no, uh, that's definitely not going to happen. I also feel like this person is going to be the reason why you get rid of this mentality that you have as far as like, you know, thinking that all men are dogs or all women are beeps or whatever the case may be or all men are players or all women are players or you know nobody has your best interests at heart that mentality that you have will definitely go away um throughout the course of your involvement with this person things might get challenging and difficult for you due to this mentality that you have due to this belief i would say that you have in regards to um you know, men in the way men are or women in the way women are, because I don't know this person's gender. OK, and I don't want to get all gender specific. But point is, is that um, with the tower coming out here, it's a it's a bad sign, I would say, for them be, due to the amount of obstacles they're going to have to face in regards to just simply creating and establishing the life that they want with you. But it's a good thing, too, because this mentality that you have 
it's going to eventually go away. And it's mainly because this person, the way that they are as an individual is going to basically prove to you that not all men are dogs, not all women are beeps, um, and not everybody's out to get you. You know what I mean? Um, and I do kind of feel like, you know, this mentality that you currently have uh, will eventually become a thing of the past. What actions will Taurus take towards this person or moving forward? Um, again, this 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 is kind of reiterating what um, I already said about um, what's going to be affecting you within this dynamic that you share with this person um, if it hasn't already um, hit you. With the Three of Swords to the Two of Swords, that creates a Five of Swords at play, which I wish I had the Five of Swords so I can basically show you. Um, but, you know, there's just this energy. I'm trying to find the five of swords as I'm talking to you. There's just this energy of you essentially thinking, okay, that this person that you currently find yourself connecting with is just out to get you and that they don't have your best interests at heart and that they're just here to, I couldn't find it. I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. But point is, is that um, there's this mentality of you essentially thinking that this person is just out to get you, that they don't have your best interests at heart, and that they're just here to hurt you, betray you, and deceive you. And because of this mentality that you have, you're trying your hardest to not become emotionally attached to this person. Because we all know that um, suffering comes, you know, from attachment. Whatever it is that you attach yourself um, to, if you were in the event to eventually lose it, you're going to unfortunately suffer from it, right? Um, and, and this is kind of why we see you trying your hardest to not become, um, emotionally attached to this person is basically what I'm getting. Okay. Um, to be honest, I feel like you already are emotionally attached to this person, but once you start to like realize that you're starting to become a little bit too emotionally attached to this person, we kind of see you doing whatever it is that you can on your end to undo that. So you might go as far as to push them away. You might go as far as to not, you know, talk to them on a regular basis. You know, you're just going to end up doing something on your end to make sure that you don't continue to develop this emotional attachment towards this person in particular. And it's because of this mindset that you have that they're going to eventually hurt you. They're going to eventually let you down. They're going to eventually disappoint you. Um, so that's basically what I'm getting, um, that in the near future, you more than likely are going to notice yourself becoming emotionally attached to this person. You're going to start doing things to undo that by like pushing them away, not talking to them as much, not being around them as much, you know, things of that nature. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Wheel of Fortune to the Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands to the Three of Pentacles. At the end of the day... The heart wants what the heart wants, you guys. Um, I do feel like your heart and your soul really does want you to be with this person and build with this person. It has a lot to do with the fact that this person does possess a lot that you're looking for within a person. This is somebody who does make you happy. Um, so you want to just naturally go there with this person, but it's like you're constantly fighting it. Like, no, I can't because they're going to hurt me. No, I can't because they're going to let me down. No, I can't because they're going to eventually cheat on me. So no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But here's my thing, right? Is that I feel like this entire situation between the two of you, it could definitely turn out better than you could essentially imagine. I just kind of feel like you got to allow yourself to go there, you know, in order to see that. And keep in mind that what's causing you to harness, you know, this this mentality of, no, I can't, 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 you know, has a lot to do with past experiences um, that you've experienced with other people in romantic relationships. Um, and let's be honest, you got the devil out here and the devil's at the heart of your reading, okay? And we also have the hair fawn out here. So there's definitely, I would say, a lack of faith that you have that this entire situation could essentially play out in your favor. There's a lack of faith, uh, not a lack of faith, a lack of faith when it comes down to that. Um, Taurus, another thing too, um, because the devil is technically speaking at the heart of your reading, because it is, um, and I say this a lot in my readings, um, you know, at the end of the day, the devil doesn't like to see unity between two people. So if he could 
alter your perception of this person. If he can make you think and believe that this person doesn't have your best interests at heart to prompt you to eventually leave this person, stop talking to this person, and push this person away. Well, at the end of the day, you know, he's basically winning because, again, he doesn't like to see unity between two people. Um, so with that being said, just keep in mind that this is also kind of stemming from that place as far as, like, you know, this one himself altering your perception of this person, making you think, believe, and feel that this is what they're going to do to you next. So you better, you know, you better Better walk away now while you still have a chance um let me tell you this i don't feel like this person has any sort of intentions of betraying you or deceiving you their mind is basically not on that and like i said this person doesn't want to experience another failed marriage in a relationship so every time things go south between the two of you they're going to be the, the person they're, they're going to be that type of person that's going to try their hardest to make it work because they don't want to experience another failed marriage they don't want to experience another failed relationship and the beautiful part of it all is that this person's an emperor so that's also insinuating that this person has enough life experience to know what the hell is out there okay um so with that being said you know They've already had their fun. You know what I mean? They've already dated and did whatever the hell they wanted to do with their life. They're just at that point in life where they just want to settle down, honey, and build towards a life here with someone that they could basically grow old with. That is this person's mentality. Their mentality is not on, let me go talk to this chick, or let me go talk to this dude, or let me go do this. No, their mind is not on that. They've already been there, done that. Okay, that that that's like that, that means nothing to them. They've already been there, done that. Um, so just keep that in mind that when you do get these intrusive thoughts and these negative thoughts, and you start thinking, "Oh man, they're just out to get me." I just know it. I just know it. It's coming from this one over here. It's not coming from an intuitive place. It's not coming from your spirit teams telling you, "Hey, listen." You know, you might want to look out for this one. No, it, it's literally coming from this one himself because again. He doesn't like to see unity between two people. So if he could alter your perception and make you think, believe, and feel that this person's out to get you, that's exactly what he's going to do because he doesn't want you with this one over here because he doesn't like to see unity between two people. Um, so with that being said, just be mindful of that. Um, but outside of that, Taurus, um, that is what I have for you. Uh, hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.